for anyone dealing with chronic health conditions. This is the, the protocol that you've been seeking for everyone who's tried all the other diets but are still having trouble. Medical medium diet is, you know, it's in a class of its own and it's changed my life. I consider the information that medical medium is sharing to be the most important information being shared on the planet right now. Welcome to this week's Your Evolution episode. So this week's episode is the second instalment in our Medical Medium series. And this week we sit down with our friend and Medical Medium guru, Rory Lamont. So Rory tells us all about his own healing journey using Medical Medium protocols and teachings. He talks to us about the importance of understanding the root causes of chronic illness and the effectiveness of the medical medium teachings in tackling chronic illness. Despite all our technological and economic advancement, the world and the people within it have never been so sick. And so, Rory talks to us about the importance of the medical medium wisdom in helping to tackle a growing crisis of chronic illness across the world, and particularly here in Scotland. This episode, aims to share the wisdom of medical medium here in Scotland and for us here at Your Evolution we want to do our wee bit to get the message out there about these amazing natural healing practices. If you want to take your health and well-being to the next level then check out our back catalogue on YouTube. We've got a whole stack of episodes all around health, well-being and self-growth. Please subscribe to the channel and enjoy the episode. Rory Lamont is a former Scotland Rugby International star who now works as a holistic health coach. Following his own long road to recovery after a complete health collapse, Rory now runs a health retreat in Perthshire with his partner Shannon and they help other people transform their health using a variety of effective natural treatments. A big part of what they do at their retreat is using the medical medium detox and nutritional protocols to help restore the body from sickness and disease. The medical medium teachings are now sweeping across the world, helping millions of people heal from a wide variety of chronic illnesses. So we visited their health retreat recently to chat with Rory and help spread the medical medium natural healing message. If you're suffering from a chronic illness or you know someone else that is, whether it's IBS, skin problems, chronic fatigue or whatever else, then we'd highly advise you stay tuned for the golden information that Rory is about to share. So, from your perspective, it sounds like your health problems were chronic in nature. And I think that's quite important because many people at home often suffer with chronic health conditions mm. and the only avenue that most people tend to have is the standard things you get told, do more exercise, drink more water, mm. go to the doctor. Mm. So medical medium is coming at things from a very different perspective. Could you begin to illuminate people at home and, and ourselves just about what that perspective is? Yeah, well, I, th I think, first of all, we it's good to talk about what is the current paradigm with health and, you know, um, you know basically the situation that we've got now is the, the population have never been so chronically ill. You know, in you know, history, you know, what was plaguing humanity was infectious diseases, but now we've got these mystery chronic illnesses that are slapped with a, a label, a name, but actually the, me the medical industry doesn't actually know what the root cause of these conditions is. You know, all the, the autoimmune conditions, um, uh, the, the autoimmune condition is the suggestion that your, your own immune system is attacking your, your cells. So it's like a, a bodily malfunction. So you're really your body's to blame for its own, its own problems. And this is like very symbolic 
of what's going on in medicine. The, the autoimmune concept is it's a theory that has never been proven. It's never been uh, scientifically validated. It was just a, an idea from the 1950s. And I say this, this does not diminish like people with autoimmune conditions and their uh, suffering. It's like the suffering is very real, but mainstream medicine doesn't know what is the root cause or why, why people are suffering, particularly women. Women, you know, suffer with all these autoimmune conditions, you know, Hashimoto's and thyroid issues, you know, there's, you know, um, there's just so, so many, so many autoimmune conditions going on. And the, the current paradigm is just to hand out steroids to these people who are suffering and there's no real answer. It's like, you'll need these for the rest of your life. There is no cure. And so what we've got to understand that is the main, mainstream medicine does not know it all. In fact, far from it. And, but people have a lot of faith in this system, but it's, it's deeply flawed. And we think that when we give something a label that we actually understand it. And what, Anyone who's dealing with chronic health issues soon learns that the mainstream medicine really knows very little about health conditions. Um, we've got amazing emergency medicine care and, uh, you know, any accidents and emergency surgeries were fantastic at. So, like, you know, there are some beautiful aspects to the healthcare system. But at the same time, um, we're really cheating people by creating these labels and pretending that we know what what's going on because we give them a, give people a label and we just tell them you've got this for life and so we need to acknowledge that the limitations of the, the current system and where the medical medium information uh, sets itself apart from pretty much everyone else is the information is revealing the direct cause of the conditions that people are suffering with. And it boils down to a few very simple things, and that's toxicity in the body, chemical to toxicity. We live in a, a absolutely, we're bombarded by man-made chemicals that our ancestors were never uh, in touch with. And our biology, isn't doesn't have the know-how of how to detoxify to release to get these poisons these chemicals out of the body so they build up it over time um, and another big aspect with the toxins is the the viruses that uh, pathogens plus toxins together are behind the majority of the health conditions that people are suffering from also radiation exposure as, as, as another source, but predominantly uh, radiation, toxicity and viruses. So when we, the medical medium information reveals how they all connect with each other and how it's affecting the body. And once we, we understand the root cause of any given condition, then we know how to tackle it. And that's you can't, you can't heal from a condition unless you know what the, the root cause is. And that's why mainstream medicine is really uh, missing the point. Medical medium information, or it's a set of protocols as far as I'm understanding. Tell us a little bit about some of those protocols, the types of things that people are using to help themselves heal from these various chronic health conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just say the the... When you connect with the medical medium protocols, healing has never tasted so good, because the the what the the dietary protocols it's just the most nourishing uh, plants, fruits, vegetables, and herbs that are they they are the the main drivers of the the, the healing. Thank you.
kind of you know worldwide phenomenon and um i first heard about celery juice i have no idea it was came from medical medium wisdom um i first heard about it in 2019 and uh, you know someone had mentioned to it you know i've been speaking about some of my symptoms some of my health issues and they had instantly mentioned about celery juice and um of course, I instant, instantly dismissed it because I'm just like, ah, oh, here's another health fad um, being pushed out by some, probably some female magazines or, you know, it's like, here's a magic juice that's going to cure all your problems. And um, I just, I didn't follow through. I just thought, okay, right, yeah, um, sure, sure. I, I thought I'd been through it all. I'd seen so many, I've been through so many different fads. I've tried so many different, like, health regimes and uh, you know, different juicing programs and um, none of it had really, while I'd maybe got some relief, none of them had really brought the full healing that I'd been seeking. So I, I dismissed uh, the celery and um, you know, it wasn't until a year later as I'm deep in my journey and trying to heal shingles um, that I eventually stumbled across the medical medium wisdom and uh, instantly resonated with it. And that's when I, I realized he was the source of uh, celery juice. So uh, celery juice is just one aspect of his vast set of protocols that he's got. And um, but if there's one, if there's one aspect of this protocol that you're gonna take into your daily practice, then the celery juices are a really good place to start because it is transformational for so many different health conditions. It, it can completely restore any digestive issues because it gets to the the root cause of the problem, which is uh, a stagnant fatty liver congested with uh, toxins. Uh, environmental toxins, toxic heavy metals, pharmaceutical drugs, uh, pesticides, herbicides, all these things get lodged in the liver. And anyway, celery juice can come through, clear out the digestive system, reach the liver, cleanse the liver. And then once the liver gets cleansed, it also regenerates the uh, digestive glands in the stomach. So we get better hydrochloric acid, so we can digest our food and we no, we start to heal our digestive complaints, whether it's Crohn's, colitis, IBS. Um, so celery juice is, you know, one, one of the protocols, but there's also uh, the heavy metal detox smoothie, uh, which is uh, absolutely life-changing for anyone dealing with <laughs> a vast number of conditions, but any neurological issues most neurological issues are related to toxic heavy metals um, damaging neurons in the in the brain and the central nervous system and so we need to look to remove the, the heavy metals that are causing so so many health issues the the list that they're responsible for is uh, vast um, but the, the the heavy metal detox smoothie is it's so beautiful. It's Mother Nature at its best. You know, it's uh, orange, uh, orange juice, uh, bananas, uh, wild blueberries, dulse, spirulina, barley grass juice powder. M just Mother Nature's tools. But these uh, these nutrients have a synergistic effect, and that uh, they all work together to f extract and remove. Uh, the, the the toxic heavy metals that are deep within our in our body, and so that can be a, a huge uh, game changer for pretty much anyone who's dealing with any kind of health issues. So if you bring in celery juice and the heavy metal detox smoothie, uh, you're going to start making progress in in your healing journey. Most people. Uh hear the word juice and instantly uh, get images of herbal life and, and all of that sort of stuff and it's definitely this is definitely not that and what I find quite interesting about it is that 
Um, this is not about juicing, it's about cleansing, isn't it? Is that the right way to describe it? Yeah, well, this is, I mean, it, it is all about cleansing. Um, we, we have to cleanse the body. The, block, the, the reason that we get ill is because we have blockages of toxicity and viruses and radiation that gets into the body. And we need to cleanse, remove these substances from the body so that the body's function can return to um, you know, the way it should be. And unfortunately, some of us come into this world inheriting toxins from our parents in the womb. And so, you know, some, some people have a difficult start right from the beginning. Some people come into this world with a, in a really clean environment. Their parents had relatively clean bodies. And so they've inherited far fewer toxins. And maybe their childhood exposure to toxins was uh, minimal. But for others, uh, maybe if you've grown up on a processed food diet and um, maybe if you've been exposed to a lot of pharmaceutical drugs, a lot of antibiotics, then you know, the body has been compromised with toxicity. These, these chemicals, they build up in the body, they build up in the liver, they compromise the, the function of the organs um, and they you know, weaken the body over time. And then we, as we get older, we start developing these conditions that they start showing up, whether it's skin conditions or mood issues, you know, depression, anxiety, these can be related not just to traumas, but they can be related to um, environmental toxins, particularly heavy metals, very much responsible for a lot of depression. Um, uh, you know, it's like the treatment resistant depressions and things can be due to toxic heavy metals. Um, but yeah, it's, it is, it's all about cleansing. So we, we, need, to, we need to cleanse the body. It's, this, the whole journey with the medical medium wisdom is you're learning how to empower your, your body to heal. It's about igniting the innate healing capacity of your body. Every single person on the planet, the body has an innate healing capacity. Uh, we just need to support it in the best ways that we can. And the way that we support it is that we, we give the body earth-grown nutrients. It's, it's the natural plants, herbs, fruits, vegetables that our bodies have evolved with over billions of years since the start of life on earth. The, our biology has evolved you know, with, with the plant kingdom and we need the plants to be able to stimulate the healing. Uh, they, they come in with so many different nutrients, uh, phytonutrients. Um, a, lot, a lot of the plants are inherently pow have powerful antiviral, antipathogen uh, components. Um, so bringing in, bringing in the herbs, the fruits, the vegetables can eradicate pathogens from the body. Most health conditions start with a stagnant fatty liver. Our liver is literally the, is the organ that cleanses us. It's the organ that filters the toxins out the bloodstream, the toxins that we're consuming in our food, the toxins that we're exposed to that we breathe in, the toxins that get in through our skin. It all goes to the liver. And over time, if we're not eating a nutrient-bound diet, the, the liver's not getting the nutrients it needs to perform its detoxification. So the toxins actually build up in the liver and it causes it to become stagnant. And a high-fat diet also burdens the liver because it has to produce bile every time we eat lots of fat. And every time we, <laughs> every time we need to, the liver needs to produce bile, its detoxification stops. So, um, yes, learning how to heal, cleanse, like remove the toxins from the body is, that is how we heal. Yeah, there's chronic illness everywhere, Rory, and we've got all sorts of names for it. So we've got IBS, we've got rheumatoid arthritis, we've, you name it, there's all sorts of names for it. But just to be clear, for the people who are watching this, who maybe think, which I did at one point, that it's my genes, it's bad luck, it's whatever. 
What you're saying then and what medical medium is saying is there's a common denominator between all of these. The body's overburdened by toxins and if we clear out the toxins we can get well. Yeah, it's this is this is the cause of the the, the human uh, plague of mystery illnesses. You know, it's um, we we need to start addressing. We need to clean up our act. We can't get away with poisoning the planet without poisoning ourselves. And it's inevitable. We poison the waters. We poison the air. Uh, we poison our food, uh, and so we're poisoning ourselves. And um, it's people are starting to wake up to to this issue now. More people are suffering uh, than ever before. Uh, in spite of all our medical advances, I don't think the human population has ever been so sick. And new, all these you know, autoimmune conditions, they were pretty much unheard of before the 1940s. And um, you know, you know, we, we forget this about history, is that a lot of the conditions that we're dealing with today, they didn't start appearing until the 1940s, 1950s. And you know, that's not long after you know, Industrial Re Revolution and uh, petrochemical industry really started to expand, you know, it came into force during World War One and has proliferated ever since. And with that, many man-made chemicals have been saturating our environment. And we're all starting to pay the price. You know, most people are dealing with at least one symptom. And if they're not dealing with a symptom now, the chances are they're going to deal with a symptom at some point further down the line just a, a matter of time and unless they can get onto the the right healing diet and learn about the troublemakers that are behind chronic illness but we've just been conditioned to believe that to solve these chronic health conditions it's really complex mm -hmm. and it requires mm -hmm. various doctors and it requires various tablets and various restrictions or things we could, we can and can't do with our lives in order to keep our heads above water. Mm. So I suppose my question, I suppose at heart, if it's even a question, is just about can it be that easy to go from where you were, you know, complete health collapse, digestive problems, brain fog, low energy, a whole uh, myriad of different uh, ailments, is it that easy to just use these simple, natural protocols in order to heal yourself? Because mm. that's what I, if I'm sitting in somebody's shoes, I could be thinking, can't be possible, there's no way just in celery or, you know, having a, having a smoothie can, can really genuinely help improve my condition. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Um, it sounds too simple, too easy to be true. But here's the, here's the truth. Our, our, our problem is that uh, humanity, we've strayed too far away from nature and because we've created this uh, gulf between us and, and mother nature um, we've kind of lost our way but when we think about what the medical system is where the pharmaceutical drugs come from uh, the active ingredients in most pharmaceutical drugs are synthetic derivatives of, nat of, of uh, chemicals or phytonutrients that are found in plants and, and mushrooms and what we've done in our arrogance is think that we can extract one component from a plant and synthesize it you know a synthetic version of this one single component concentrate it put it in a pill and hand it out and you just call this medicine the medicine is in the food that's where the these <laughs> where the pharmaceutical drugs are originally what they're extracted from but what we forget is that Mother Nature has a ingenious, complex system of nutrients that work together synergistically that our bodies have evolved with. And so when we bring the whole food in with all its full range of phytonutrients together, we are bringing in the most powerful medicine that dwarfs any capability of any pharmaceutical drug if someone can point to a pharmaceutical drug that is leading to full healing and of any condition, um, I'm willing to, to listen and learn because from what I understand, pretty much every pharmaceutical drug on the market is merely suppressing symptoms 
and it gives the illusion that you're getting better. But if you come off the pharmaceutical drug, your symptoms are going to come back and most likely they're going to come back even stronger than before. So, you know, my message to people is do not underestimate Mother Nature. It's billions of years of evolution and we've evolved with Mother Nature. And it's only the last few hundred years that we've strayed away. And when we reconnect with Mother Nature and bring in the fruits, the vegetables, the herbs, you know, preferably organic, so that they don't have a, any man-made chemicals on. But when we bring these uh, natural foods back in, it has an incredibly restorative uh, effect on the body and it energizes cells and it allows us, the cells within our body to release the toxins that have been building up. And when we release those toxins, the cells can now function properly and illness and disease starts to disappear. So yes, it sounds simple, but I tell you what, it gives you faith in life when you reconnect. And one of, one of the issues is with this information is it's mostly the people who have been dealing with long-term chronic illness that are connecting with this wisdom because they've been through the whole journey. They've been to dozens of different doctors. They've had all the tests. They've seen all the consultants and it's not, and they've taken all the pharmaceutical drugs and it's not resolved their issues. And through trial and error, you realize that the mainstream medicine doesn't have the answer and that you're willing to try anything at that point. And then when you connect with the medical medium wisdom, and when you connect with the medical medium wisdom and you've been on your own healing journey and when you listen to what the, the wisdom that's being shared, and it is, you know, for me, I, I was in tears reading, reading his liver rescue book. Uh, th that was the first medical medium book that I, I read. I was in tears a few times when I was reading it because it was like someone was finally seeing the, the journey and the pain and the suffering that I've been through and all, all the dead ends that I'd gone through as I was trying to find my, my path to healing and to get an explanation for it to be validated. Uh, you know, everything I've been through, all the symptoms I've been through to be explained and validated was really cathartic. And that's a huge part of the healing to be finally, for people with dealing with chronic health issues, to finally have your, your journey validated and acknowledged and explained and also to be blessed with <laughs> the information on how to empower yourself and, the, and heal yourself. Um, it's, it's really, you know, it's really something special to, to connect with this. But people who haven't dealt with chronic health issues, who are doing, you know, whether it's they're just on their keto diet and they're doing the, or they're doing the bulletproof coffees and they're feeling great and, you know, you know, it's like maybe they'll go try, try celery juice and like not, not feel much from it, but maybe they don't have the toxins yet and they don't have the viral exposure, they don't have the pathogens or they don't have the radiation exposure that is causing them, them symptoms. And so they might not feel the full power because they're already in a, a good place. You know, they might not feel the full power, not really understand that what is here is life-changing wisdom. Um, sometimes we, it's, we have to go through our own health journey to really connect and understand that this is, is the truth. But... I'm hoping that by sharing this information that we can help people connect to this and, you know, avoid going, you know, avoid developing future symptoms or any health conditions, you know, it's, yeah. about, it's about it. Prevention is better than cure. I just want to try and get really practical in terms of yeah. someone sitting at home right now, and I keep going back to that, but it's so important to just really bring it home for people who, where do they start? They've maybe been through all mm. these different avenues. How, how do you make those baby steps into finding uh, the, the medical medium? Is it reading the books? Is it watching the video? Or is it really just tap going straight into the practices and the protocols of you know drinking the celery juice? What's the best way to approach it? Um, I mean, everyone's, everyone's different. Uh, people connect, you know, resonate with different things. So for, for me, you know, like, my background is quite scientific. I, you know, before as a professional rugby player, I, 
I got a degree in, in human biology and so I really enjoyed reading his books because you get all the in-depth details but for some people it might be a bit overwhelming the amount of information so um, you know he, he's on Instagram, he's on, he's on YouTube, he's got his website, um, if you have a health condition, uh, if you type in medical medium on a Google search and your health condition you'll most likely find uh, medical medium wisdom specifically for your condition. And if it's, if it's not been, your condition not being listed, uh, you can, it'll, the information that will pop up in the, in the first medical medium feed will most likely have some powerful information for you in your healing journey. But. We need to learn which foods are driving illness and disease and there's some major players. Uh, so obviously processed foods have lots of artificial chemicals in and so we need to start ch checking the ingredients list. We need to start familiarizing ourselves with ingredients and learn things to avoid. But um, you know, so avoiding processed foods is the first step getting on to uh, whole foods, uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, and herbs if you can, like coriander, parsley, bring these things in. But also, and this is where it really challenges people when I start, when you find out what foods you need to uh, give up, because certain foods feed the pathogens, they feed the bacteria, they feed the, the um, viruses that are in our bodies that are causing the, the illness and disease, um, are causing the symptoms. So these foods are gluten, eggs, and dairy, and corn. Corn, most corn now is uh, genetically modified and um, it's now become a, a, a food for pathogens in the body. So if you have any health, kind of, any health conditions, You've, you just have to, if you want to heal and you're really serious about your healing, you just have to cut these foods out and you don't, you don't have to go cold turkey. Uh, it's about, you know, maybe wean yourself down, you know, if you're having three eggs a day, bring it down to two. Every little step, every little step, every little movement you can make towards your health is going to, you know, pay dividends in the end. But my, my advice is connect with the medical medium wisdom because trust me, this is not about uh, just uh, a diet where you're just constantly hungry and you're, you, you're starving yourself and you've like got no food choices. Um, the, the medical medium protocols are just ast astounding. Uh, Getting healthy has never tasted so good. I've never eaten, I've never enjoyed eating so much. There's been no sense of loss. I've not mourned the loss of a single food mm -hmm. uh, since following the protocol. And so once we bring in the glucose rich, uh, phytonutrient rich uh, vegetables and fruit and herbs um, and reduce the fats and eliminate the foods that feed the pathogens, that's when we really start to make a huge, uh, or we start to feel a huge change in our energy, in our health, and we can start shifting the needle and, and improve, start improving our health and, and start to fully heal. Chronic health conditions, people are following the medical medium diet um, and they, they're healing chronic health conditions, autoimmune conditions that have, they've been burdened with for you know, maybe two decades, maybe three decades, you know, most of life. So this, this is a powerful protocol. I want to, I want to reiterate to people who are skeptical about this. I, for anyone dealing with chronic health conditions, this is the, the protocol that you've been seeking for everyone who's tried all the other diets, but are still having trouble. Medical medium diet is, you know, it's in a class of its own and it's changed my life. And so, you know, it's a real honor to be able to help share this information. I consider the information that Medical Medium is sharing to be the most important information being shared on the planet right now. I really, I really believe that because when you look at what's going on 
um, in the collective. We've never been so sick. So the, the, the race of chronic disease, the, the, the level of suffering within the, the population is, is, it's insane. You know, just, we, we be, almost become accustomed to it. You know, it's like the, the frog boiling in a pot of water, you know, the, the temperature's ramping up and it just gets used to that temperature to the point where it's boiled to death. And we, we just kind of, we've, we've almost just accept our illness and disease is part of being human. And this is the way it just, it's supposed to be for humanity. But, you know, it's not, we're supposed to be vibrant, healthy beings. We're supposed to be able to live life to the fullest. And what we've been doing, the, the med current medical system is not offering that to anyone. You know, it's, it's not resolving, it's not, it's, it's not resolving people's health issues, chronic health issues. Um, so we, we need to be open and receptive to a new way of thinking. Do you know Otis anything different? Yes, that's right. I am wearing <laughs> this is my skin. It's like all healed, all better. And I have I'm grateful for medical mediums community. I'm grateful for what medical medium has done and put out there for people. And I am an example of what is possible.